Correct? If God knows everything all the time, he knows he has a perfect knowledge. Yes. Therefore, he will never become ignorant. I uh, true that, yeah. Yeah. In, in, in way, yeah. He will never become ignorant. Yeah, yeah. If he becomes ignorant, then he's not God. there's no God. So yeah, you cannot no justify it, say he become human. Yeah. Because yeah. That, if he became human, yeah, he's not God anymore. Yeah. Not God anymore. Yeah, I know the point. I know so how can you, as a person who God gave you intellect, sound reasoning, yes. harmonize between Jesus. God is perfect, Yet and yet, he became, he became limited. Yeah, he became limited in a way, because there's a simple answer with the, with the saying all the time. is like, at one point in time, Jesus is God, fully divinity. But at one point, he just take, takes on a human flesh. So like, you and me, just a human, we can touch, we can see. So the, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a mystery to us, uh, how he revealed himself to us at some point, at some time. So we still believe Jesus is God, but we also believe at some point he is human, just as us. That's the beautiful thing about Jesus, is that he still has his divinity, but yet he's still on the same level, so, so we can com uh, comprom uh, comprehend the feeling uh, of, of ours. So that Jesus knows the hour? Uh, he, he knew the hour. I, I believe myself that he knew, the hour, he, uh, he knew the hour at some point, but yet when he came as a human, he gave, he gave the attributes, some attributes of God, but well, it's contradiction. Yeah, it seems like contradiction. It's not it seems, it is contradiction. Yeah. Okay, way. if you know my name, yeah. okay, well, you have to understand, yeah, if God is perfect, he has a perfect knowledge. And when we say perfect knowledge, mean he, will never, he was never ignorant. Yes. And he doesn't forget. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So that means there was no ignorance prior to, to, to him at all. He knows everything, I mean his knowledge. He doesn't forget. So when Jesus said, I don't know, no one knows the hour, the even father. himself doesn't know the hour, only the Father. Who was Jesus speaking the truth or was he lying? He was speaking the truth. So therefore, Jesus doesn't know the hour. He, does, he didn't know the hour, maybe at that time he didn't know the hour. Yeah, but God knows everything all the time. Yes, exactly. So if he knows everything all the time, yeah. by default, he cannot be ignorant and he cannot forget any time. Yes. If he becomes ignorant in any time, he cannot be the same God who knows everything all the time. That's because called a paradox. Yes, yes, I know the point. It's a great yeah. point. Yeah. What I believe for myself is that sometimes in, in, when Jesus was walking on earth, that sometimes he didn't express himself as God. A few moments in the New Testament, he shows himself that he's the God. Even the Jews tried to kill him because he's making the claim that he's, he has some definitive. You can utilize it. You, can, you cannot utilize Jewish people as a proof because no. Jewish people also believed he was not a Messiah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. exactly. But my point yeah. is more like sometimes, but I believe sometimes he needed to express himself as a God and sometimes he needed to express himself as a human being because he came on a mission to, to, to live just like a human being because he, your God is not But Jesus being. as a God is not a father, is he? No, he's a son. He's a son. Like the, Who knows the, the hour, the father or the son? Jesus. Okay, you believe Jesus had two nature. The that's son, that's he has human nature and a God nature. Fact, yeah. Focus, yeah? yeah? Jesus as God, not as a son, yeah. not as human. Jesus as God is a son. He's not a father, he's a son. Yeah, he's a son. Okay. Jesus as God, does he know the hour? As God, he knows the hour, yes. That's, That's not true because Jesus said only the Father knows. No, no, before that, Jesus already excludes anyone. He, he said only the Father. If it's only the Father, therefore the Son, because Jesus knows the Father. So therefore, he, Jesus, as a, even as for the sake of argument, even said Jesus as God, he doesn't know because Jesus said only the Father. Also, he took out the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. I know. So therefore, according to Jesus, according to Jesus, Matthew 13, 32, Jesus as God, does he know the hour or only the Father knows the hour? The, the Father, let me say the Father. Yes. Jesus cannot be God because even as God does know the hour. And he cannot be God. You know what you know, you know what you have to understand, bro, yeah? This, you know this, what Jesus said is very similar is in the Quran. To show you they come with the same teaching. In the Quran, Allah said, Yes, Alunaka and Isa'a. They ask you about the hour. Yeah. yeah? When it will establish the meaning of the verse, yeah? So they ask the Prophet Muhammad when the day of judgment will happen. What Prophet Muhammad said, he said, only the meaning of the verse, only Allah knows. So Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, they said the same thing. Because both of them they were messengers of the most high. Okay? And to give you a rational, logical Arguments which is in the Quran, Allah said in the Quran about Jesus why he cannot be God. Allah mentioned about Jesus and his mother. These are powerful arguments. Both of them used to eat food. That's not the nature of the Most High. The Most High is not in need of anything. Everything is in need of the Most High. 
if the Most High became something and he's in need of that thing, he cannot be the Most High who is self-sufficient. This is a logical argument used, yeah. Allah used. And I understand you completely, but even there are some places in the New Testament which it takes, it takes on claims that only a divine being can have or can be, such as... Uh, I and the Father are one. So, so you know the, you know the context of that? Yeah, kind of thing like that. This thing no, no, do you know the context of that? The like context. The context. The, if, you if you read the context, you know, the, when, when Jesus then goes on to say to his disciples, yeah. just as I just as uh, I and the Father are one, I'll pray to the Father you are one too. So the disciples are one with them. What does that mean? One in purpose. Because if you say when Jesus said I and the Father are one mean one they are one, they're not one because you already believe Jesus is not the Father. And the father is not the son so clearly they're not one as the way you should think about it also when jesus said that okay does god have a god does god have a god no but is that to my god to your god to no before god. that jesus as a god because to show you look doesn't make any sense yeah, 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 yeah. jesus he was god and a man same time yeah. jesus as a man jesus as a man yeah who is his god as a man the father of course what about the other nature of jesus as god he's not god anymore Still God. Is that the God of Jesus as a human? Yeah, in some way it is. That is great. In some way it is. Yeah, but Jesus very... negate that. Jesus said, I'm going to my oh, father, I'm your father. To Who is... God, to your God. So therefore, the Jesus as a human, his God is the father. But we know God is the God of everyone. Yeah. So if Jesus yeah. as God yeah. is the God of everyone, he could be God of himself, himself. as a human. Yes, a human. So yeah, therefore... That's, 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 it's a great mystery. It's actually, it's very, very good. Because if it's right. mystery, what do you mean? It's, it's a mystery that I if it's, it to But if it's a mystery, it. you know what is a mystery? Mystery is worse than a theory. Yeah. Mystery, yeah, mystery, mystery yeah. is worse than a theory. It's cannot be explained. So do you think, we, you, look, look, Islam is simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you teach Christianity, you say it's a mystery, yeah? yeah? But we know the Most High will never punish people based upon something that we cannot comprehend and cannot understand. That's why the Most High is not going to punish me because I don't know um, how he looks. Because that's beyond my capacity of understanding, you know? But why he's gonna punish me? Clearly said, worship me alone and don't worship no one beside me. If I worship someone beside Allah, Allah will punish me because the verse is clear. The statement is clear. Yeah. Look, Islam, how Allah described himself. Yeah. Ahad. Say Allah is one, yeah. unique. Allah is self-sufficient. Everything is in need of him. He beget not, neither was he begotten. There is nothing comparable to him. There is nothing like unto him. Another verse Allah said, Allah who is Allah? The one who deserves to be worshipped alone. The ever living, the one who's in charge of everything. So that's the God we worship, perfect God. Then you come to Christianity, God become a baby. Someone breastfed him, someone changed his nappy. Yeah, the, God, the God got beat up by people that he created, but God is all powerful. God was scared, he was hiding. That is not the God, that's deficiency. Come okay, to Islam. Now we're, now we're gonna explain why that's such a beautiful thing. He said God is a baby, he's breastfed. I get the point, but what's the reason about that? It's not, it's not become human just because he can be a human or something like that. Because he had a mission to do so, to become in flesh. And that's the beautiful message of Christianity, which you believe today. Because as a human, Jesus walked from, from baby to death as a human, so he so to show us how to how God has to be worshipped. And so, even Jesus has the same. Uh, you remind me of someone just justify a crime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Out of respect. You know what you're doing? You saying, but you know why? The, regardless, no, regardless what justification is, is invalid. Because why? God is perfect, bro. Perfect, I'm saying but, you can't worship a perfect God. Case if, if God takes a human flesh, doesn't make him imperfect. It, it makes, when he becomes a baby, yeah, it makes, it makes him imperfect. Okay, because God never ceases to exist, even though it is no, no, flesh, God okay, never ceases to exist. okay. Who's in charge of that baby? The mother, God, the, the, the mother breastfed him, church is not and yeah, all the, of that. The, the flesh, yeah, the flesh. Uh, yeah, okay. Flesh. You, you say it's the flesh, yeah? yeah, according to your Bible, John yeah. 1 1, yeah. he said, God, the word became yeah. flesh, yeah. mean, God became flesh. Yeah. So it's not, he never the said, word, yeah, in the beginning was the word and yeah. the word was with God and the word is God. Yes, then, then the word became flesh, yeah? yeah? He never said the word became a soul. So the word became flesh. Yeah. So you Christians should say, no, he was a flesh human being. No, became flesh. If he became flesh, so that flesh, that baby in the flesh, 
that was touched, his mother was touching breast within him, that was God, he became like this. Are you serious? You believe this is the biggest calamity? That you believe God, the most high. Yeah. You know, in the, in the Old Testament, Jacob said, Oh God, the heavens and the earth cannot contain you. The heavens and the earth cannot contain you, cannot hold you, contain you. Let alone my temple. Okay, who is bigger? I have respect. Who is bigger? The temple of Jacob or Jesus' mother's womb? The temple of Jacob. The temple. Yeah, yeah. So if his temple cannot contain God, yeah. and before the temple, yeah. the heavens and the earth, yeah. but he's inside this one. So either Jacob was lying when he said, the heavens and the earth cannot contain you, yeah, even my temple. Lie well, well, doesn't make like, any sense. Yeah, but like maybe. Many prophets could say whatever they say, but they like expression of how they see God because then you had a different view of how he saw yeah, God. Yeah, but you believe God's bigger than his creation, yeah, yeah, is it? Of course, of course. Is he bigger than his creation? Yeah, of course. All but, the time? Yeah, but how can he, then the question arises, how can he... End no, 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 before, before how? Is God bigger than his creation all the time? Yeah, yeah. All the time? Yeah. So when he was inside the, the Mary, yeah, but it was, was that, it was not all the time, so that's a contradiction, yeah, paradox. No, no, because he still was bigger than he still had the Father, still had the Holy Spirit. No, no, the Jesus thing, as God. The only, thing, the only thing that happened with Jesus special is at one time he descended into flesh, but still God the Father still exists up there. No, no, I'm talking about the Father. Jesus as God. Jesus yeah, as God. If you talk about Jesus as God, if you talk about Jesus, you have to talk about all the three, because they three forms of unity, which you believe. Like they don't, unity. because why? They don't all the time. They don't. They because, do. no, no, no. The Father never, I'll like tell you why. The Father never asked help from Jesus. Sorry? The Father never asked help from Jesus. Yeah, but even if, if that's Always true, in the Bible, Jesus asked Jesus, the Father never said, help me. No, I'm gonna, no, Jesus no, always, he's a servant of the no, Father. So therefore, because, he, I understand because he will come die for our sins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But my point here is yeah. that doesn't make any sense, bro. What I'm saying to you, yeah. that you telling me God was inside smaller a womb doesn't yeah. make any sense. That's why I would say, look, be honest. Yeah. I know deep down it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, lie, you know that. And I'll tell you, it's, it's, you know, it it's good to smile. Yeah, if you really open your eyes, yeah, it's, of course. Not, I'm going to open my eye bigger. Well, lie. <laughs> How is going to? So, yeah, the, 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 what I would say to you, look, yeah. we're going to stand before God yeah. and we're going to die. Yeah. That's why Allah in the Quran utilizes psychological arguments for the people who are rejecting that which is not by necessity. When you die or she dies and all of us are going to die, no one's going to come of us inside the grave. Allah said you will return the way we created you. In the Quran, Allah said about people claiming that Allah has a son. This is the biggest is a calamity, let alone God the Most High becoming a baby. You know, that's a paradox. If you say God become baby, that is, within itself is a paradox because God is not a creation and the creation is God. If God become a creation, therefore he created the creation. But he became a creation. So who created that creation is God. But God is not created. But he became a creation. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, lie doesn't make sense. Huh? Very confusing. Very confusing. He became Muslim, correct? Look, he became Muslim. He became, he became Muslim. And he said in the Bible, the, you know, it's good. In the Bible, he said God is not the author of confusion. Well, when you read the Quran, the Quran, Islam is so simple. Bro, you can, you're Caribbean, correct? Yeah, I'm Caribbean. Okay. My family Caribbean too. You know, Carab the Europeans brought to us Christianity yeah, yeah. and brought to Africa Christianity yeah, and forced it upon us. Yeah? The same people that forced us to become Christians, they have left Christianity. Holland, you're from Holland. Yeah. Holland is not Christian, it's more liberal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, atheistic. Yeah, yeah, France. Why? Because they have noticed a lot of people, either, a lot of Christians, either, be, sorry, have, uh, uncle, yeah? either they're becoming a Muslim or they are atheists. Because you cannot stand telling someone, God, become a baby. But God the Almighty become baby, that's a paradox. Also, 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 when you look to Islam, Islam has a solution for everything. You know, let, let him come, let him come forward, let him come forward. Let him come forward. Yes. Yeah. What well, we say to you, look, I say you go home and pray to the God of Abraham and the God of Jesus. You say, oh God, guide me to the truth. This is what I believe. 